Hey. It's like I'm always found where the trouble's at. Drinking brown shit now, I'm off a cup of that. Your girl's on me, what's up with that? If I like her, all the shit would really take is a double tap. Having visions of fucking an A-list singer, a Kardashian or a Jenner. What is good YouTube? I'm Fedo, welcome back to my channel. This is episode 4 and today we're going to do something a little bit different. I want to go through the sneaker releases for August of next month. I just thought it would be a cool way instead of you guys having to go through release calendars. This would be more of a fun way for you to see what's coming up in the next up and coming months. Now the order I'm going to do these is just an order of release, so they're not in an order of my preference. I uh, just thought it'd be easier, we'll just start from the start of August, work our way through, and that way you'd be able to see what's coming out, what you like, so you'll have a heads up when you know when to cop. Okay, first up we have the Air Jordan 1 Premium Essentials. So this comes in a sale of white and red, and then an all black and red. These two are pretty basic shoe, easy to wear with everything. The sale of white, uh, it's not full white, but I wouldn't go as far as calling it an off-white. It's a little bit more in the middle. And then that comes with the red Nike Air on the tongue, and the same with the black. Just all black with the red Nike Air on the tongue. Again, because these haven't released, I'm not too sure how the leather is, but they do say they are a premium smooth leather, perforated toe box and the Wings logo on the heel tab. In my opinion, the black pair's alright. Uh, I do like the sail white a little bit better. It's just a little bit more of a unique colorway in the white, where the black is just an all black shoe. They will be coming out on August 1st, and they'll be retailing for 160 US. Uh, not too sure how much that will be in Australia here, but out of the two, the sail white's definitely my favorite. Not too sure if I'll pick this one up, but if I'm able to see what they're like in hand, I'll decide that. Next up we have the Nike Air Vapor Max Explorer Dark. This colorway is the College Navy and the Metallic Red and Bronze. Personally, I don't have a pair of Vapor Maxes yet, but I'm super keen to pick one up. I did like the all black colorway that came out uh, a couple of weeks ago. Unfortunately, I was away at work, so I wasn't able to get a pair. But I don't mind this colorway either. A little bit different with the bronze swoosh on the side. Be easy to wear, subtle colors. Now, not everyone does like the Vapor Max. I don't mind it. It's a pretty cool silhouette, but yeah, I definitely want to try a pair on just to see what the comfort is like. If I'm able to get back down to Brisbane to check these ones out, I will do that. These will be coming out August 3rd. They'll be retailing for 190 US. Vapor Max is in Australia. I think they usually go for around the 280 mark. Don't quote me on that, but. But all in all, subtle colorway, but it's still dope. All right, next up to release on August 5th, the Air Jordan 5 White Cement. This colorway is very similar to the OG colorway for the White Cement 4s. You do have an all white leather upper, with your white cement speckle on the shark fin on the midsole. And it does have the black metallic tongue, which is also 3M. When you take a picture with the flash on, you will see the tongue will actually illuminate. I'm a big fan of the white cement 4. I did sell my pair a couple of years ago, and I'm itching to get it back with the Nike Air on the back. I uh, don't think I will pick up this Air Jordan 5. I do have a few colorways in the 5, but to me it's just a little bit chunky for my liking at the moment. But it is a cool concept taking an old colorway and putting it on another silhouette and bringing out a new vibe. And like I said, this one will be releasing August 5th. It will be retailing for US $190. Uh, I'll probably skip on this one, but if you do like your fives, in my opinion, still is a solid colorway. If you're trying to build your Jordan collection, this one is definitely wouldn't be a bad cop. Okay, also releasing on August 5th, we do have another Air Max 97 coming out. This one is the Ultra 17 Silver Bullet. This one's a lot like the Hyperfuse that you get with Air Max 90s and the Air Max 1s. So instead of all being an embossed leather, it's a lot more smoother. Everyone went crazy for the Air Max 97 Silver Bullets when they released recently. I've never been a big fan of the 97s, but they definitely grew on me, especially the gold pair that came out. Definitely we still want to pick those up. But if you are on the silver bullets and you do want to get a more futuristic look for it and a more sleek look, I definitely suggest you picking these up. In my opinion, I think they're sick, and if I do come across them, hopefully I'll be able to grab them. Okay, August 17, Adidas is bringing us back another colorway in the NMDs. Uh, they are bringing us out a white zebra colorway and a black zebra colorway. Same kind of vibes as what you'd see on the Yeezy 350 V2 zebra colorway. Uh, just on an NMD, and then they have white with the black stripes, and then you can also pick up a black with the white stripes. Again, Adidas just smashing out the colorways for these NMDs. Me personally, I'm not the biggest fan of the Yeezy V2 zebras. I do like the NMDs a little bit better, but there are a few colorways in the NMDs I would want to cop before I go out and get these zebras. In the white colorway, it is just white with your black stripes, and then the black is just that reverse. It's just all black with the white stripes. These will be releasing on August 17th. They will be retailing for US $170, so you can expect to pay about the $220 mark for Australia. 
Uh, not too sure where these will be releasing, but if you won't have to pick up the Zebras and the Yeezys and you really want a copper pair, these will definitely be a good alternative and the price point won't be anywhere near as harsh as what you'd find on the V2 Zebras. The day after that, 18th of August, Adidas is bringing out another colorway in the NMDs. These are the Ice Blues. Now, I actually think these are pretty cool. The colorway reminds me a lot of the Pantone pack that Jordan is slowly releasing. You can see this one features an Ice Blue upper with a prime net material with the white boost on the sole and the white pods that you find in the midsole. Now I know it's winter here, but this really looks like a really cool shoe to wear in summertime. I'm hoping it comes out here in Australia. And again, these will retail at 170 US. So yeah, we'll be looking at around 220 Australia for these. I love the Pantone Jordans. You know, I used to have the 11s that came out. I uh, ended up selling those a couple of years ago too. Just a little bit chunky for my style at the moment. Uh, so these are a good alternative if you like the colorway like me and you want a more slimmer fitting shoe. So I'm hoping I'll be able to scoop these up on August 18th. Now this release I am very hyped for, that is the Air Jordan 13 playoffs. These are coming out August 19th and I have been wanting to cop these for years now. Never was able to find my size with the right price, so I'm glad they're bringing them back. On the Playoff 13s, you do have the all black leather upper, white sole with that red bottom. And these are just a classic colorway coming out with Jordan. Uh, it's a no-brainer cop for me, and I'm glad. I will be back in Brisbane in time to be able to go cop these from Foot Locker. These retail US, $190, and they will be dropping August 19th, so save the date, and I'll see you in line. Also releasing on that day will be the Air Jordan 13 breads. I've never, never been the biggest fan of this color. Colorway. I know a lot of people are. 13 is just not my favorite silhouette. The playoff colorway is definitely my favorite colorway. In saying that, it is a very easy shoe to wear. I know they re-released these a couple of years ago and they're bringing them out again. This year seems to be the year of the 13. They bring out a lot of colorways in them and of course they couldn't do it without doing the breads. So these come out August 19th. All right, next up we have the Air Jordan 8 Cool Gray. These are coming out August 26th. Uh, these remind me a lot of the Cos Force that just came out, same kind of grey, and it's just an all grey shoe with a suede upper. I like the Cos 4s that came out, don't necessarily like them enough for how much they're reselling for. I've never had any 8s in my collection, I actually wouldn't mind copying these ones for an all grey shoe. Uh, same as 13s, these will retail US $190. I'm not 100% sure on how much Jordans are retailing for these days, I haven't really picked up a pair in a while, but I do want to have a Jordan 8 in my collection, and this cool grey I think would be a solid cop. That's it for me guys, and don't forget to like, subscribe and comment, and let me know what shoes on the list that you're planning on copying, and keep an eye out for my vlogging channel that will be coming up in the next couple of weeks. Alright guys, take care.